Okay, so this is a test between standard PLA. This is just standard orange PLA that uh, looks a little like that. It's just been sprayed with some black Plasti Dip, just to check out a different finish. And then this was Ninja Flex Armadillo in white. I printed this without supports. So there's, you know, the tolerance for this in terms of the overhangs, it curls up a little bit. Um, but I printed it without supports because uh, the material tends to ooze a little bit more than PLA and you get a little bit of webbing. So supports are kind of hard to remove once they're in there because they, uh, they ooze a bit. Uh, and then it's actually really tough to cut it out because the material is so strong. So I'm trying to optimize my prints and make my own supports so that they're easier to get rid of. But you still need the supports that more, more to keep it from peeling up off the base than anything. Alright, so let's see the brake test. Okay, so here's our PLA piece. This was printed with six infills and over 30% infill, um, but it's essentially solid throughout the, uh, the bracket section, throughout this, the, the collar. Pretty tough, but when it breaks, it snaps because PLA is brittle. So a friend of mine who wanted these parts, uh, we were looking at doing it on ABS, but I don't have an ABS printer because I have that printer over there, which is a does not have a heated bed and thus not that great to print ABS with. But there you have it, snapped right through. Took a little bit. It was a pretty tough piece, um, but this is going on. Uh, this is holding a custom fender for uh, for a, a mini scooter, so we want it to be tough. This is the armadillo piece. And as you can see, it doesn't break. Oh, it's splitting a little bit because this piece, I think I printed with different settings. But the failure point won't be, it won't snap. It will just deform because it, it's quite a bit softer than PLA, but it's super tough. And for holding on a fender, you know, that's what you want. You don't want, you don't want failure, uh, breakage, uh, but you can live with a little deformation if it's, uh, if you hit something. This piece, this piece didn't split until I'd worked it quite a bit and it's still intact as you can see. Oh, I finally actually got it to break, but I've worked this piece over and over again. And I finally was able to get it to just a bit there, but it's still actually, the outer layer is still actually on pretty tough. Can't seem to split it. So there you have it. The Ninja Flex Armadillo is uh, pretty tough. Uh, but definitely oozes a little bit, so you might want to print it 220. Don't go too hot. Uh, but I like it. I think uh, for functional pieces, this is going to work pretty well. Uh, wherever you're worried about brittle pieces snapping, these are, these are very tough.